Hi, Anthony here from Solarun. This video is about solar technology and brands. When our franchisee Dylan was working with Nirav at his home in Traganina, he knew that a value for money system was a must and that roof space was limited. Dylan chose JA solar panels and a Goodway inverter and Nirav was delighted with the result. With Solarun, you can always rely on our franchisees to offer you the best technologies and the best brands for your home. So you're wondering, how did Dylan choose the right brands? In this video, we are going to cover inverters, poly panels, mono panels, bifacial panels, full cell and half cell panels, reputations and warranties of different brands. Once you have watched this video, you will know enough about solar panels and inverters to impress your friends at parties. More importantly, you will know which brands are a good fit for your home. The right solar system will reduce your household energy bills and your reliance on the grid. But how do we know what the right system is? The right system is the solar that best fits your home. Here at Solar Run, we have a few simple questions. And this chart behind me will help. You can find the questions and the chart in our free online ebook. But let me ask you a few simple questions. Do you have a small roof or a large roof? Or is your energy usage low or is it high? Also, do you have shading on your roof? Let's start with inverters, the heart of the solar system. There are hundreds of different panel brands out in the market, but only a few inverter brands worth mentioning. Let's look into inverters. The important parts are reputation, warranty, noise, and remote monitoring. Solar Run typically recommends Goodway inverters. To understand why, we need to have a look at the other two leading brands, SMA and Fronius' offer. All three have a great reputation. All three offer an increased 10 year warranty, at least if you buy through Solar Run. All three have great remote monitoring apps. The differences are, could we and SMA inverters are relatively quiet, while Ferroni's inverters are noisy. So what does it come down to? Goodwe provides unparalleled value for money. Let's look at panels. When Dylan was working with Narav, he knew the roof space was limited. This meant poly panels would be a poor choice as they produce less power for the same size roof space. So to get the most effective system, they chose mono panels. However, if you have a lot of roof space, like this property in Listerfield, then it can be cost effective to use poly panels. In this case, the owners decide to go with mono as they want to get more power from their solar system. If the long-term performance of your panels is important to you, then bifacial is a solid option. And if your roof has some amount of shading, you should consider half cell panels. Optimizers and microinverters can also help with shading. However, they cost a bit more. Which brand is best? To compare solar panel brands, check out our ebook, My Solar Plan. We compare reputation, warranty, and manufacturing of the top 10 brands, collectively called the Silicon Module Super League. In addition, we mention a few other tier one solar panel brands that we recommend. So, what is the difference between a mono and poly panel? Over here, we have a poly panel. The cells are square, square in shape, they also, from a distance, you could see that the panels are inconsistent in color. Whereas over here, this is a mono panel. It's jet black in color, and you could, you'll be able to see diamonds on the panel. So you ask which one's best. This one here, the poly, is a little bit cheaper to manufacture, but with the mono, a little bit more expensive to manufacture, but it is a high performance panel. So, what is a bifacial panel? Both panels behind me are monoperk technology, but the one here is bifacial. The only way you can really tell is by flipping them around. So let's do that now. So 
So here is the difference. On a standard mono perk, they've got a white laminate sheet behind. With the bifacial panel, you can actually see the cells here. So what happens, sunlight will come through the panel and reflect off either the tile or tin and hit the back of the panel and produce extra power. What is the difference between a half cell and a full cell panel? So each cell is split into half and the panel is divided into half again. So basically if you have shading on this part of the panel, the top part is always going to work and perform to its best. So what is the right inverter, panel and brand for your home? Trick question. It's the inverter, panel and brand that best fits your home. There is one last thing I want to share with you. Be careful if a solar company offers you poly panels when you need mono panels. <laughs>